It is not an injury that keeps these student athletes from their sport, but a lack of funding. And just before the season started, Avila University announced it will eliminate its track program. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson is live outside the school there. Mackenzie, what's going on? Well, guys, student athletes tell me they were just blindsided by this news. They said they never expected last spring to be their final season competing as an Eagle. Track lives matter. Nancy Chicas is reminding people of her sport. Go. I just got like half of me taken away from me personally. Like this has been the love of my life for the past almost decade. So last week, Chicas and her teammates found out their season was canceled just weeks before it started. Within the first 120 seconds of being in the meeting, he said he's going to cut straight to the chase and he's going to say they're cutting the indoor and outdoor track and field program and they're releasing our. Food. Conditioning had already started for the team that expected to compete at nationals. We just basically been training for nothing at this point. In a statement to 41 Action News, the university said the program was eliminated due to, quote, budget considerations. Student athletes say on top of class and practice, they've been fundraising for the upcoming season. They could have, you know, said, okay, let's lower the meets, let's go local so that way we could save more money, you know. The university said the cross country program would remain. Next weekend is the championship meet. We got championships and we have no coach. One full time and two part time positions were also cut. Student athletes say with no coach and no team, many are considering transferring. As for the seniors, they say that's not really an option. The only thing I'm looking forward to now is just graduation. I can't say anything else. I mean, I'm right there. It just kind of blows that I'm not continuing my track career at this point. So despite cutting the program, the school says they will honor all of the student athletes scholarships that were on the track and field team reporting live in Kansas City. Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News. All right. Thank you, Mackenzie. We wanted to get a bigger picture sense of how track is doing at colleges and universities nationwide. The Chronicle of Higher Education broke down the latest numbers we could find on this topic. Between 2007 and 2017, 14 Division I schools dropped all men's track events combined. During that same decade, just one Division I school dropped women's track and field and cross country. According to the Chronicle of Higher Education, the popularity of combined track and field programs has diminished in the, last, in the last decade or so. But programs in more specific categories like indoor and outdoor track and field teams as well as cross country have seen gains in recent years.